Hey everybody, Unstable Gamer here, and welcome back. So we're going to be jumping into Marvel Strike Force. We're going to look at some news, some dev updates, and the newest data mine that came out just a few days ago. And uh, we are a little bit behind on this, but I'm going to explain why in just a little bit. But first, before we jump into that, if you're just now finding this channel and you want to stay up to date with this and other games, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out. All right, and welcome back. So the reason why these are coming out a little late is with so much content to create and putting some, I needed to prioritize them a little bit. I really wanted to get that free to play guide out. That took quite a bit of time. And so I prioritized that and I prioritized uh, the character profiles because uh, I like getting those out as soon as possible. If I can get them out the day that I'm able to unlock them, run through those characters, I try and do those quicker. As far as the dev updates go, I get those out as quickly as I can after after those types of videos. So they're a little lower on the priority list. But hey, I make these videos for you guys. So if you'd like to see the dev updates higher in the priority list over like the free to play guide or the character profiles, things like that, definitely let me know in the comment section below. Um, another reason why it took a little bit of time for this is because to be honest, there, there really isn't much here. We're gonna run through the last two dev updates and then we're going to take a look at the latest data mine that came out and just kind of dissect all of it the last two dev updates there really isn't much here so here's uh here is the one from the 15th it talks about minerva coming in 2.4 we pretty much knew that cosmic healer we we've been able to play around with her now minerva's really cool she's doing a fantastic job and i think uh, she's everything that that people were hoping for in a villain healer. She is the first true villain healer that we have, other than Hand Sorceress, who's be, who's a minion, and she's been doing fairly well. She's done fairly well. She's she's a good healer, but we really needed someone like Minerva. Now they did tie her to the Kree, so I mean most of the benefit for her is going to come when you put her in with the Kree. However, there are some other mix and match teams that I've seen that have been doing pretty well. Captain Marvel, uh, Captain Marvel is on the way. We knew that and it's in the coming weeks of uh, the release, the 2.4 release that came last week. Also, we got some news uh, or a clue as far as how we're gonna be able to unlock her in the data mine. So we'll go over that here in a little bit as well. Raid updates, we know that Ultima 7 is coming. With Ultima 7, we're assuming that we're gonna be getting a level increase as well here in the next probably the next few weeks sometime next month because um, it's a level 75 plus raid I don't know if there are any red red stars tied to it but we're gonna go ahead there's there's a little blurb in there in the data mine as well so we'll take a look at that if you take a look at the newest raids that came out and the newest challenges that came out there are red star requirements to it I'm guessing that there's gonna be a red star requirement to seven and if it's already out there and i haven't and i've missed it then then uh, <laughs> then, uh, then i missed it but i'm thinking there's probably going to be a red star requirement for that we will see we had star lord coming up in the payday event as far as the alliance war update on here there is a little bit in the data mine as well but as far as this goes they were just talking about restarting the the play test the external play test and adding some updated art, some bug fixes, some quality of life additions, things that were mentioned during the last Alliance War Q&A, the Q&A mailbag, which was a really good one, had a lot of good information in there. So if you haven't seen that, you can click on the link here, or uh, I'll go ahead and put a link up here in the top right hand corner. So that is really all that there was in this. Not a whole lot, because uh, there wasn't a whole lot of detail. It's just a whole lot of, this is what's coming. And then last week's, all we have here really is the same as what we saw the prior week. Captain Marvel's coming, uh, Minerva's coming, and it's it's the release notes that that we got with last week's update. Ultimus Seven Raid, uh, the dynamic camera, the uh, uh, the two X and three X speeds that's going to be coming. That was pretty cool. I do like that when it's on one X. So it'll be nice when that comes into play. Uh, character updates, and then we go into the differences between Thronin and the Kree. 
I think people are pretty familiar with that. Ronan, uh, he did get a speed increase from 65 to 90, which is great. His armor was slightly increased along with his health. His hammer removes the two positive effects and then attacks the target for damage, which is great because you can remove those positive effects, then do the damage, so there's no mitigation. So if they have a defense up, you don't take the reduced damage and then take the buff off. So at least, at least they got the timing there right. Uh, the Judgment now summons two Kree, which is great. You can do a Kree, uh, two Kree Reapers or two Kree Nobles or one of each or just one. However, if you max that out, uh, then you're going to be able to summon those two at all times. And then uh, removes two negative effects from all allies once you bump that up a little bit, which is awesome because you can continue to remove those negative effects, especially when you're going up against teams that constantly apply those like Spider-Verse team. Uh, the ultimate here, damage to all enemies increase, which is good. The ability block to the primary tar target for two turns. Now you do need to bump up that skill in order to get those two turns. And then uh, ability block up to two more targets uh, for one turn, which is great. And then his passive grants extra resist, grants more health. And then uh, whenever one or a Kree ally gains energy, they gain speed bar, uh, <laughs> which is which is great. And are healed. So I'm not going to go through each one of these. Ronan was, I think, the the one that got the biggest, the most aggressive increase. Now, he's the only one that got a speed change. Everybody else, as far as speed, were the same. Uh, it's a lot of the mechanics and the synergies that really got changed between the Kree. And then um, and then Magneto, he got a little bit of a buff. So he uh, his passive now is doubled, doubled the, health, the max health granted the Brotherhood allies in Magneto's passive. It was at 15%, now it's at 30%. And then his special increased the range of that damage blind application. So uh, now instead of doing adjacent targets, it goes within two spaces. So it can pull in your opponent's entire team, suck them in, blind them, do the damage, and then set them up for all that adjacent damage that the Brotherhood is well known for. And then finally, some bug fixes here. So I'm not gonna go ahead and run through uh, each of those. We're gonna jump over into the data mine now and take a look at at uh, everything that we have there. All right, latest data mine news. So this is what we have for Alliance War. And what it does is it breaks these out. So there's med bay, armory, weapon, bridge, hangar. It breaks them out into the different rooms and then gives us a little idea of what those rooms bonuses may be, it looks like. So uh, this med bay here, plus 50% max health to all defensive squads. This armory plus 25% to max health, damage, armor, resistance, and focus for offensive squads. Uh, room, the weapon room here. So uh, offense down for two turns to two enemies attacking adjacent rooms. Here's uh, the bridge here, counter for two turns to, uh, to two allies defending this room. And then, uh, which is cool, the counters, that's awesome. Hangar right here, speed up for two turns to two allies when attacking. So I'm not going to read every single one of these, but you can see each room here, the names, and then the potential bonuses. Now, again, just a reminder, as far as data mines go, a lot of things in data mines can be changed, uh, especially once they're out in the open. They tend to change from time to time. So take everything in this data mine with a grain of salt. All right, so those are the different effects for the different rooms. Now, down here, it says room bonuses adjust the stats of attacking and defending characters in war destroy all the defenders in a room to move the bonus during the war all right and then we just got some headers and stuff here so alliance cooldowns uh you cannot enter a war that started before you join the alliance so that's that's good to know that's similar to two raids and such you have to be in that alliance for a little while and wait for the existing timers to expire before you can go ahead and do that. There's a matchmaking phase here, locating your Alliance War opponent. And then, uh, let's see, War Supplies. You got War Prep, and then stock up on your War Supplies. Once you hit Ready, you cannot purchase more supplies during the war. So I don't know what really that entails. Your Alliance is definitely gonna have to communicate and figure out the best way to tackle, tackle the challenge. Uh, it almost seems like a, a puzzle. So that'd be really cool. So there's some information right there on the Alliance War. Again, every time I get a little nugget of information about Alliance War, I just get a little bit more excited about it. I'm really looking forward to it. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, next. We have um, Iron Man coming. So we've got, uh, looks like Iron Man's coming. We're 
skipping Nick Fury, I guess, again. So this is the second time we skip Nick Fury. Now, when I was taking a look at this, I did have a thought that it's possible because of the Kree rework, uh, they may be doing some uh, rework, some, some adjusting of the Nick Fury campaign in order to compensate for the Kree. Because maybe, maybe now with the Kree and their rework, even with it being just the minions, maybe it makes uh, the Nick Fury event just too easy and they want to tune it, or maybe, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I just think that possibly they're doing some fine tuning on the Nick Fury event, which is why they continue to push it. I don't know, I could be completely wrong. That's just, that's just my two cents there. So it looks like that's gonna start on March 6th. So that's next week and goes to the 9th. So fun there. Uh, again, take this with a grain of salt, that can move. We've seen these events move all over the place before. Next has to do with uh, Ultimus 7 Raid. So new raid tier, uh, it uh, says, Commander, a new raid tier has been added to the Ultimus Raid. Ultimus 7 is only for alliances prepared for an intense challenge and is recommended for squads level 75 plus. So that leads us to believe that there's going to be a level increase. Completing Ultima 7 will reward you and your alliance with T4 abilities, orange gear orbs, and more. So that's cool. The rewards, hopefully the rewards structure, the 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 volume of rewards that you get for completing the different tiers is gonna definitely be worth it, worth the challenge. But I'd like to know a little bit more about this. Is there a red star requirement? Because I'm if I was a betting man, I'm gonna bet that there's gonna be a red star requirement, but we'll see. Next, Captain Marvel. So this is a little clue that we got to recruiting Captain Marvel. It says, earn Captain Marvel in the new recurring milestones starting March 5th at 4 p.m. So next week, there's going to be some milestones in there. Now, when I think of milestones, there are these milestones that they had with Carnage and they had with, um, oh my gosh, my brain is frying right now but with a couple characters as you level them up as you tear them up and uh, as you level their abilities up you would move through these milestones and collect rewards uh, mainly gold and ability mats and things like that that would help you continue to gear that new character up to get them up to speed quicker which is great i like that um, especially if you're going to put the time into developing a character. I like the fact that you're getting rewarded for it. However, um, with this here, it says earn Captain Marvel through these milestones. So I don't know exactly what that means. There's also nothing in the data mine here that suggests that there's going to be an offer. Typically, when a new character comes out, you have an offer. For the most part, they're $24.99. There has been a few at $50. Bucks. Um, However, nothing in here that I've seen suggesting that there's going to be a Captain Marvel offer, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that there could be, but we'll see. I'm not sure, but that's interesting. So there's a little hint starting next week. It looks like March 5th. We can, we'll be able to find out what that is exactly. And then uh, this new blitz that's coming out. So the psychotic blitz, that's carnage. So face off against other players, teams to earn various milestone rewards and a chance to win carnage shards. Additionally, each Blitz win will give you a chance to win up to 2,000 Psychotic Orb Fragments. So we've had that with some characters in the past as well. So not just earning character shards through Blitz, but every time you win, you have a chance to go ahead and get that, the, uh, uh, those Orb Fragments as well. And then it says, for a limited time, a new Psychotic Orb is available in the store. The Orb contains only Carnage Shards and guarantees at least six shards and that's that's been uh the norm it seems lately the least you're going to get is six uh, with all the materials that came out so check this out so since december i was taking a look at this because for the first time since i have been playing this game the training materials my training materials are down to almost nothing i've never had to worry about training materials at all and i started taking a look at how many characters have been released since december so since December, we have had the Spider-Verse squad. That entire team has been released. So you got five characters there. And then you have Mantis, War Machine, and Car uh, not Carnage, but um, Minerva came out. You have eight characters in a span of two months. That's more characters that's been released in two months than I dare say ever in this game. All right. 
Um, so I was getting ready to wrap this video up because that was pretty much all I had, but brand new data mine information just came out like as I was wrapping this video up and uh, this is what we have. So Nick Fury event is coming back. It's going to start March 20th, it looks like, and go until the 23rd. Again, just a caution, data mine information is subject to change on a whim. So it looks like with this information, we got the new Quarter Blitz event coming up. So the cost of the recharging for each character never goes above five. So we've had that come around before. That's going to start March 1st at 4 p.m. and March 2nd at 4 a.m. Also, Red Stars featuring Kingpin. So Kingpin is currently not in the Red Stars, uh, either the Red Star Orbs or the Elite Red Star Orbs. So if you want him, save up your Red Star Orbs until... This date right here, it looks like March 6th, when Kingpin is going to be added to them for a certain, for a limited time. And uh, the drop rate for Kingpin has been increased to eight times in these two orbs. If you like Pink Kingpin, if you have him in your group, he's a great character. He fits well with some, uh, with some teams. So if you want him, if you want a chance to get him, then definitely hold off until next week to turn in any Red Star orbs that you have. And next... So, you know what? If I was a betting man, I would have won. So, Ultima 7, it looks like the recommendations for Ultima 7 is squad level 75 plus, we knew that, gear tier 12, ability level 7, and there we go, red stars, 4 plus. So, there you go, everybody. Brand new, hot off the press. All right, and with that, I'll go ahead and wrap up the video now. So there you go, everybody. That's what I had for you tonight. Um, I'm curious to know what your thoughts are on Alliance Wars and Captain Marvel coming. How are you liking Minerva? And then uh, with this data mine information here, what, uh, what are you really looking forward to? So as always, I truly appreciate it, and thank you for taking the time to watch the video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button and share your thoughts and questions in the comment section below. Take care, everyone, and we'll talk to you next time.